Hello teachers, this is Josh Bingham again. Um, we're going to talk about Google Classroom and some of the updates they've just gone through around Labor Day. So the first thing I want to talk about is my first video. If you want to help creating a class in Google Classroom, you need to see that first video. This one's going to be kind of jumping right in to some of the new things inside of Google Classroom. So first place I'm going to go, I'm inside my Google Drive when I click on the waffle or the apps button and scroll down to the bottom, I have Classroom, so I can uh, click on it straight from there, or I can always, if that button does not show up, I can always go to classroom.google.com, and it takes me directly to where all my classes are. I'm gonna open up this one, this little demo class for Ithaca Elementary right now, and talk about some of the, uh, the new things. First of all, I wanna talk about the Students tab. You know, this isn't really new, but just wanna show you how to get your students logged in. I would recommend making sure you click on students. They've got this class code right here. They can always get in straight from there. Um, the About section, the third tab here in Google Classroom, you've got a couple different things you can do. You can add materials. So once we look at add materials, you've got the paper clip, which means you can upload a file from your computer. You can attach anything from Google Drive. Right here is YouTube videos and then a link to any learning opportunity online. So pretty much any form of digital media you can think of you can share inside of Google Classroom. Another feature they opened up last spring, um, but it's kind of new, is the Invite Teacher button. So now we can co-teach inside of a Google Classroom by clicking on the Invite Teacher button and then searching for the teacher that you wish. They do have to be in your domain. For the most part, that's how we have ours set up in Carroll County and most other counties as well. Uh, when I click on stream, here are, you know, the, the biggest new feature inside of here is the plus button. This is how you're going to create all new announcements or posts, that kind of thing. So when I click on the plus button now, I've got four different option, options. The first option here is a reuse post. So if I click on reuse post, I can see all my other posts from different classes. So it doesn't have to be just in this class. I can choose that and click select and reuse that post if I'd like. Pretty simple option. The second thing I want to look at here is the create a question button. So when I click on create question, um, you just type it in right here. So I've got that typed in. Once again, you can attach Google Drive, YouTube, or link. I can put a due date on it if I want. I can send it to multiple classes if I want. And then once I'm finished, I'm going to click Ask. Um, when you click Ask, it gives you two options. So first of all, I can let the students see and reply to each other's answers. If I wanted to do that, maybe it's like a survey or I want a discussion to get started, that's what I would choose. Maybe it's a formative assessment to take out the door that I don't necessarily want them to see each other's answers. You can just uncheck it right there. And then do I want the students to be able to edit their answers once they submit? We all know what would happen if we let them see each other's answers and then edit their own, but maybe you'd want that to happen. When I click Ask, it pops it in right here. Um, and so the students would just, it has a little place for them where it says add your answer. They just add their answer. I see who's not done and who's completed. Kind of set up similar to an assignment. Uh, once I click on this, I can see all the students in the class and if they've answered or not. I can give them a grade if I want. Uh, you don't have to though, you can set it as ungraded. Um, that's kind of you know, an option you can do there. But once I click 100, I can return it to them. So that's that real-time feedback. We can um, return if, if, I, if you'd like. You can also click on the name of the student and add a private comment down here at the bottom. So if you reply to a post, then everybody's gonna see that. If you do a private comment, that goes just to that student. So that's one of the new features inside of here. I do want to look at assignments as well, just to kind of show you some of the things we can do inside of here. Um, first thing, this is, you know, when you do an assignment, everyone's going to get a grade in here inside of Google Classroom. I want to look at attaching from Google Drive. So when I search or a document that I've created inside here called IES Google Classroom. Um, one of the, you know, once again, you can just set a due date. 
You can attach all those things we talked about. You can send to multiple classes. So if you have three math classes, you only have to do this once. But what I love about this, you can set it to students can view file, which is good for um, study guides and maybe presentations that you've shown in class, that kind of stuff. Students can edit file. I've seen teachers do like a uh, shared uh, storytelling where maybe the teacher writes the first sentence and then when a student gets done with their work, they log in and they write a sentence and uh, so on and so forth. So the whole class can edit one file if you'd like. But the, the thing that I love about Google Classroom is the op option to uh, make a copy for each student. So I'm going to go ahead and click make a copy for each student. Go ahead and click on assign. It's going to create that assignment now for my students. Uh, once again, I can click on this quiz one and I can see all my students and the work they've, they've uh, done or have not done. All their names will pop up right here. Now, once they have started this, uh, once they click open and, and it goes through the process, then you're going to see their document right here. So you'd see 30 documents right here. So I could get to all 30 of those student documents from one place, one location. Really makes life uh, super easy inside of Google Classroom. Let them do all the, uh, the work and organization for you. Really love, love this feature. One of the things, I, just a, a, a little thing, but it is new. Click on those three dots. I have a move to top now. So if you allow students to post, and you know sometimes your information can get pushed all the way to the bottom now I can just click that move to um, move to top and you're gonna see that the stream you know is now at the top what we what we chose earlier another great thing that Google Classroom rolled out this summer I love it is the API feature it's an automated program interface it allows one program to talk to another so some of the things the places I love to go learn a zillion all right, if you're using videos or lessons from LearnZillion, you should see this uh, purple Assign button. You can click on that, and now look, we can share it directly in the classroom. Great, great feature that Google Classroom is allowing us to do. So we can throw that into our um, demo class. We can make it an announcement or an assignment. I'll just do an announcement. Click Go, and you're going to see. So we don't even have to be inside of our Google Classroom to post. I love it. <coughs> Excuse me. Once I click view, it's going to pull back up Google Classroom for me. And there's that. Watch this video. That's what I just posted at 10.50 a.m. So um, great, great option there in LearnZillion. Discovery Education has um, the same option as well. I'm going to sign in real quick because I want to show you guys it looks a little different than LearnZillion. Each one of these programs is going to be a little different. Um, thank you, later. All right, so I'm going to go to My Content, and I'm going to show you how to share a video if you have content inside of here. The Living Cell, one I always use um, when I was in the classroom. When I click on Actions, now I have a Share button, and we can share it directly to Google Classroom, just like we did the LearnZillion. So now it all looks the same. Um, we're going to create an announcement. Awesome. All right, so when I click post, should be able to view it again. It takes us right to Google Classroom, and there's our post from Discovery Education. The last one I want to show, which is a free one, is from American Museum of Natural History. You can share this page directly into Google Classroom as well. Here's a little button, so here's a little... Um, lesson on climate change I found I can share it through Google Classroom love the API um, API's that Google Classroom has come out with this summer I really feel like you're gonna see a lot of benefit and you're gonna see them adding more and more as we go um, when this um, starts getting used it, teachers are gonna love it I really feel like so um, when, any, any questions you have, always feel free to email me at joshua.bingham at carrollcountyschools.com. I believe that's it for Google Classroom. Thanks, guys.